Hi everyone, Aldmar here. In this video, me and Warjack will be discussing the Shield of Legend collectible rewards. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. If you go to the Upper Necropolis, you'll have these three quest givers. They are all collectible quest givers. The one with the shield gives us the quest for the Shield of Legend. He wants us to collect eight pieces or fragments shield fragments these are collectibles you can get these fragments from the different quests in necro 4 he will give you a shield frame if you take the shield frame and click on it you'll be able to place the shield fragments inside of it you can stack up more than one in each slot and if you put all the fragments regardless of order if you put them all inside of the shield frame they will little by little fill up the image of the shield. If you look at the frame before and after you fill it up, you'll see it change its view and now you can see it's full. Once you've completed your shield, you can talk to the quest giver and this is how you complete the quest. She will take one of each fragment. Here's the complete list of shields. First we have adherence. This is just a tower shield, there's nothing special on it. Damage reduction minus 5. Not, not a special, nothing special about it, I don't know. Maybe for a cosmetic, nothing else. Around the is a large shield. It's made of ad adamantite and it's got fortification 100 and vitality 20. And feather falling for some reason. Again, this is nothing special, but maybe for the cosmetic. Vigio is supposed to be a shield for clerics. It's not really exceptional, but it does have a nice cosmetic to it who can go good with the armors you get from the Titan Raid. But other than that, don't recommend. Death's Door has death block and it has 10 charges of absorbing negative energy. This is nothing special, but this is probably one of the most sought after uh, cosmetics. It's very unique and special. Fanion is a caster shield. That means even arcane casters can use this because it has no arcane spell, spell failure on it. That's what makes this shield unique. Also, it's got Arch Maggie and 30 false life, mixing it great. Sorrel is just a heavy shield. It's got protection 5 and resistance 5, but you can get better stats already at level 12. This is kind of outdated. It's only for the cosmetic. Finally, we have Talon. This is a shield who's meant for anyone who wants to use a shield for shield bashing. Its base damage is 2d8 instead of 1d8. That means if you get a plus 1 to your damage of your shield from Fighter, this is extremely powerful. Also, it bypasses Slash, Piercing, and Bludgeoning, and its damage is Piercing, that means Spike Damage, plus Maiming on Criticals. And it has 10% shield bashing. This is a really good shield if you want to actually go do shield bashing. Finally, we've got over here the seal of the Black Abbot. This is the one that I usually take up. It's the only one who's bound to account, and you can use it to upgrade your Abbot items and give yourself, like in this melee of this quiver of alacrity, plus 30 striding. But Aldo wants me to take Death's Door for the cosmetic. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Let me just show you how you make a cosmetic. As you can see, you've got an item. This is the death door in my case, and I've got a mirror of glamoring. If you double click on the mirror of glamoring, it'll open up this little barter box, and then you can take your item, in this case, death's door, and drop it in. Here we're gonna select the option and create a cosmetic shield. It will consume the mirror of glamoring and give us a cosmetic. So, the item itself is unaffected, stays the same, but now we've got a cosmetic. And this is bound to account, so I can just pass this on to Aldbar, and I'll, I guess he'll show it off for you. Yeah, I don't have a shield, so I can't put it on. Okay, that's it for me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, 
here we go here's my character Jokin this is the one that I used in the egg hunting festival of the traveler video and he's a swashbuckling bard so let's update him first of all I'm going to turn on my shadow blade from Fade Dark Illusionist you can see it's a really cool nice purple blade so now I've got the three piece purple reaper set from the Maybar event so that's the hat the armor and the cloak and now we just need a shield that's purple that goes together with it and so we drag it up, put it on and there you go I mean you gotta admit that's pretty cool I mean it's almost like they designed it for this outfit yeah I think this is one of the top tier at least purple lux that you can get well yeah well I hope you enjoyed that and Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it uh, very much. I know these videos take us a lot of time to make, even though they're very short. So I hope you enjoy them. Okay, see you next video. Bye.